Right, so a very quick little run around of the area in which we'll be doing the programming. And that area can be found by going to a browser and typing in vr.vex.com. vr.vex.com. And this is what you will be presented with. Um, as normal with block spaced uh, things, you drag blocks off from one side and drop it under. And here, when you when you want the program to run, you press start up there, top right. You see that up in the top right hand side. But there's no robot there to run. So let's 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 call a robot. And so you end up with what they call playgrounds. Let us have a more interesting one. Let us have this one. Uh, and so you get to place a robot in here. Looks quite dull like that, doesn't it? Let's hit play and see what happens. The robot runs forward and hits blocks. All right, let's refresh that and have a more interesting view. Here are the more interesting views. Can you see these camera icons? So we're in this one at the moment, straight down. So if we go like that, that's a forward looking view. As we push into the blocks, let's reset it. Let's start it again. And this is the three quarters view. So remember our other video that uh, contained the specifications of this robot. That's the robot. And off the table we go. So that's very cool. It is very cool indeed, in fact. Uh, lots of uh, different playgrounds, and we'll be doing different tasks depending on the different playground we're using. Uh, you can also see you get sensor information uh, from this front eye, down eye, bumper and distance. And then if you want to save anything, there's a file uh, file menu up there, and you can save to your local device here and open up your work and try again. So that's a super quick super slight outline of what you will find at vr.vex.com for the robot simulator. I look forward to speaking to you again.